Two accused bullies arrested at Westview High School today for a scheme to terrorize a former student is telling 10 News that he is actually the victim. People at Westview don't just go walking around like bullying people for no reason. I'm going to go into school tomorrow and everyone saw me on that golf cart going away. They're going to know something happened. So now I'm the victim in this. Now I'm getting bullied. It's a story that we've been on top of since the girl targeted in the Kill Katie Club broke down in tears to 10 News on Friday night. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty shows us why the boy who was arrested today disputes the accusations against him. Well, the teenager and his friend were taken from Westview High School today in handcuffs. He admitted to me to playing a role in this harassment, but says these allegations have gone way too far. I'm putting handcuffs, taking away to the police station. Nick Aguirre left school today in a police car and does admit to playing his role in the bullying of Katie Uffins last year. Basically what I said to one of my friends was, kill Katie Club, that's all I said. It was a one-liner thing, never went anything, we never had any intentional, like, actually, like, wanting to hurt anybody. He says that's where it ended. He hadn't talked to her since, but that's not according to police or Katie's mom. The kids didn't stop. They kept calling us, calling us, calling us. In fact, Giselle Uffin recorded dozens of phone calls that she handed over to police and they used to take Nick and another teen into custody. They're like, you were making harassing phone calls. I was like, no, I wasn't. No matter how many times I told her, I swore on the Holy Bible, everything I did, she was convinced. A game of he said, she said that may be decided in court. The hate has increased dramatically. I, I can't even verbalize in words how badly it's damaged my family. No formal charges have been placed. Once the detective finishes her report, she'll hand it over to the juvenile DA, who will determine if charges will be filed or if these teenagers will head to court. From Westview High School, Dan Haggerty, 10 News.